Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bangkok. The local time here is 7.50 in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning from Suvarnabhumi Airport. So after a short vacation, here I am back to Bangkok. And of course, today I'm going to update you about the latest arrival situation why everyone is traveling to Thailand a lot of things a lot of information in today's vlog but before that let me show you how was my journey to Bangkok so guys my journey started at Beirut International Airport after a short Easter vacation a small airport a beautiful country my flight was with Etihad Airways to Abu Dhabi to take my connection flight a $400 ticket, one way to Bangkok, a window seat and two seats free next to me. A nice leg room and a meal, all in all good for the price. And beautiful views of Beirut, the weather was great and 4 hours to Abu Dhabi. Welcome to Abu Dhabi. The local time here is 6.45 in the evening. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened until the aircraft has stopped completely and the seatbelt sign is switched off. Please take care when opening overhead So here we are guys, this is Abu Dhabi airport. It took around four hours from Beirut to Abu Dhabi. Now we have connection flight and our flight is at 10.50 to Bangkok. A very busy airport and moreover, not too much easy to navigate. The boarding was on and the line was too long. And moreover, you have to be transferred by bus to the plane. The temperature outside almost 40 degrees and you have to climb the stairs with your hand luggage to boarding. A window seats again. The plane was almost full and yet again two empty seats for me. To relax and sleep. It was my lucky day. Lift the metal flap and pull the belt apart. From that point onwards, we'll kindly ask you to return to your seats to allow our cabin crew to prepare the aircraft for arrival. Well guys, after 5 hours flight, welcome back again to Bangkok. All in all, a $400 ticket and all this was perfect. Now here if it's your first time to Bangkok, you have to follow the signs in order to get to the immigration. And as you can see, the blue ones is for the immigration. So easy, just follow the signs. But the question is, how much you have to walk? Now for today we have to walk more than 15 minutes. Other times you might walk only 5 minutes. So it depends. As you can see, it's so busy and too many people. One of the reasons is Songkran, the Thai New Year. Although it started at 13 April, but celebrations and events go till 19. Now here, as I said, follow the signs. If you have connection flight or you want to pass the immigration. Now as you can see, it's 10 past 8. More than 10 minutes walk. That's exhausting after long hours of flight. So if you have a connection flight, you should know how much time you need to walk. Along the way you have SIM card services, many people try to get it before they pass the immigration. But no need to waste your time here. You will have many choices after claiming your baggage. 8.15, today we are doing a marathon, almost there. So before you enter the immigration section, you have to show your passport and after that of course no filming. So see you at the baggage claim. Here we are at the baggage claim. You can see also many people exchange money here, not recommended. 
so it took around 20 minutes to pass the immigration, so easy process. Your passport, boarding pass, where you stay and that's it. We have to check here which belt is our luggage. So it is at belt 9. Yet again a long way to walk since we are at 20. What a day! So all depends where you enter the airport, from which exit you go out and today we can title the vlog walk in the airport. Let's go to belt 9. Now besides the Songkran, the cheap international flights these days to Bangkok. As you saw I got my tickets for $400. That's attracting tourists to travel these days to Thailand. Let's back, we are already late. Good that the immigration process was fast. Let's hope our bag is here too. Let's take this and wait. Here it is guys, I always wrap it so I can see it from here. Let's take it and walk to the exit. Now here it doesn't matter which exit you take. Take the nearest one, it all leads to the same place. You can see also SIM cards and exchange services don't waste your time here. Just exit and you will see lots of options. Save time as much as you can. Let's walk. As you can see, here you have lots of SIM cards companies. All are the same. Buy the package that suits your needs. I use AIS and it's perfect. But don't exchange money here. Exchange it at the base floor behind the airport link. Now arriving early is perfect cause still not that much busy. You won't be happy if you arrive after 12 cause it's a mess. Here you can go out if you want to take taxi but my advice to you continue directly to the end of this part. To take the public taxi from the first floor or the airport link from the base floor. Here is also the waiting point for the reserve taxis and services. It's getting busy already. If no one is waiting here maybe they are waiting you at the meeting point. But if not, continue walking, you have also here the tourist information desk just in case. And once you turn right, the meeting point. You can see here the base floor and the first floor for the best kind of transportations. But before we leave let's go up to the fourth floor and check the departures. It's 
8.45, that was around one hour from the plane, too much walking today, although things went fast. And here we are at the departures flight. You can see Songkran is here, decorations, festivals, events, the airport is getting busy. But again, it's better than in the afternoon. At night time, it's super busy. I wanna tell you that these days the weather is super hot in Thailand. I'm going to cover up hopefully a Songkran action with some water fun in the next vlog. But time now to get home and get some rest. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I am super tired. It's time for me to go back and relax. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.